the team from Little Kansas. They took the gold in, in Seattle and then came down and took the gold in Portland, which gave them the, the tickets to go to St. Louis, the world competition. Fantastic. First Robotics is the varsity sport of the mind. And why they say that is because they're trying to get kids interested in science and technology and show them that you know, these are careers worth pursuing. And the way they try to do that is by creating this exciting sports-like event with a robotics competition and pairing off high school students or even younger with professional adult mentors. So that way, not only do they have fun building a robot and going to this high energy, high excitement event, but they get to see these adults working with them and talk to them about what engineering or scientists do. It turned into a system that is now nationwide and even worldwide. And it's, it's a profoundly moving thing to witness and be involved in. So 2011's game was called Logo Motion, and the challenge there was essentially for the robots to go and build First's logo on, on their side of the wall. The object was to place inner tube-like game pieces onto pegs that were as high as 10 feet tall, and to be able to pick them up off the floor or be handed them and grasp. But the real kicker to the whole competition, and the thing that made it really incredible, from all, all viewpoints was that this main robot also carried a little little baby robot, which we called the Minibot. And in the last 10 seconds of the program, this Minibot had to be deployed, kind of like a, a, a space probe, onto a pole with, with exquisite timing so that this thing would snap onto the pole, grab it, and climb it as fast as possible at the top. And literally, generally speaking, the last 10 or 15 seconds of the game was a heart stopper because all the robots had slammed their little mini robots out of these poles and they were all climbing to the top and the first one got four lights and then three, two, one. And that was often the clincher for the game. We now have students from Camus and Washougal and even a couple from Hawkinson High School. This, just this past season we had uh, 27 students approximately and about nine mentors. It's phenomenal how much effort they put into this, particularly during build season, which is a six week long grueling process where they have to create a design based on rules that they only just got. And in this particular case, goodness, we, we, we won in both Seattle and Portland. So all of a sudden we had a new responsibility. We had to compete in St. Louis, which was another two or three weeks down the road. So the, what started out as a six week build period morphed into four months of this nonstop drive. And all I can say is the kids held up extremely well. And the mentors only had occasional breakdowns. The Camus Washugo team, we, we are very deliberate in the kinds of projects that we do after bill season. And what we try to do and what we try to demonstrate to the kids through these projects is how science and technology can affect the local community that these kids are a part of. FIRST Robotics to me is something that almost any kid can get into. And the very experience of just being in it will give him opportunities he'll never get in high school. It captures their excitement and their energy in ways that I haven't seen any other program do. And they started out extremely well and, and, you know, wow, here we are in St. Louis against all this incredible competition. The point is they were there, they competed, they did well. Their standings were well above average against all of these extremely good teams. And keep in mind, it's a small team. We have, what, barely two dozen kids. Some of the teams there are numbered in the hundreds. So 
I know they did very well even though they didn't win. They competed well, they, as usual, problem solved very well, and whatever they accomplish, I, I give credit to the kids.